up, YouTube? It's your boy Taylor, man, here at the property. <laughs> two, two, baby. It's your boy. What's up, guys? It's a quick video on my life, on how I retired at 35, and how you can do it too. Right now, you know, it's not that hard to retire. It's a threshold that you guys really got to pay attention to. So I think the best way to do that right now is real estate. Learn that, you'll be able to retire. So it's like a five minute video, stick to the end. I'm gonna share some screenshots, some little personal videos of my lifestyle. And hopefully I can bring you guys on board to this luxury way of living in 2023. Like first off, like what's the definition of retirement? It could be working a little, working virtual, passive income, getting paid to sleep, or it could be paid appearances. Either way, I don't think any of those actually work. Me personally, I was a contractor for 10 years, working on boats, working on engines and houses. But retirement for me was not having to be out in the sun all day and swing hammers and get tools and deal with customers and write invoices. Working from home was retirement for me. So. It may, di it may vary depending on who you are, you know, but at the end of the day, I feel if you do what you love, you're not really working. So stick to what you love to do. Me personally, it was getting my hands dirty, traveling around, making 120 an hour. That was my dream job. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a mechanic, an engineer. I wanted to travel and being a contractor provided all that for me. So let's fast forward to how I did it. So. Once I was making a lot of money, I was spending a lot of money. I tried to buy my first house and fill out an application with the bank. And basically, I got laughed at. They said, I'm wasting money on dumb stuff. And I was buying a lot of drinks at bars, restaurants, shopping, tens of gas station visits every single day or two. It was crazy. And I was basically spending like 80% of my income. And the bank wants to see you spend not even 40% of your income. You could be saving 60% of your income to qualify for loans. Okay? Yes. So once that happened to me, it's 2011 or 10, I got scared and started investing into my savings account, stocks, and into real estate. I was trying to buy land. So I saved up about 15, 20,000 to buy land. And I worked on my spending and curbed my spending. I was able to qualify for my first loan. So during that year or two time frame when I was studying the market, I saw real estate was the safest investment with the biggest amount of growth. And I knew that owning a house or renting out a house was very little work and I wouldn't have to be out in the field all day working all day. I would just be stuck with toilets and tenants, maybe working on the weekend for a few hours and that was it. That was my goal of retirement and I achieved that. That's how I did it, okay? Let's, let's fast forward to 2023, all right? So this was obviously 10 years ago. So now people have gotten really lazy there's not a lot of jobs available and retirement now is nearly impossible because working on a computer seems to be very stressful now. No one's celebrating <laughs> what you're doing. There's not a lot of opportunities out there. You got to constantly be looking for work online and gigs and keeping your website up to date and any affiliate programs and campaigns have to be ran and monitored every day. It's work. You know what I mean? So. This video was about how I did it, and now I'm going to give you some advice on how I'm doing it now and how I think you guys can do it for yourselves. So the threshold that I was telling you about is you want to be able to make between two to $4,000 a month passively. That means whether if you show up to a place or deal with a customer, it's money coming in. Yeah, it requires being on your phone. Everything else in life requires being on your phone. So that's not really work, but I think having to leave your house and go somewhere or write invoices is work. So let's focus on not having to go anywhere and write invoices and we can call that retirement. All right. So I think the best way to do that right now is real estate. You know, people think it's just buying and selling houses and it's really not. Real estate is exactly what it is. It's land acquisition, sales and rentals. That's it. You don't have to own anything. You don't have to sell anything. You can be involved in the finance, lead generation, subleasing, wholesaling, event spaces, commercial properties. You can be involved in anything and be in real estate. And so I think if you focus on that huge niche and pick your trait, 
and you should be fine. Okay, me personally, how I'm doing it right now is I'm driving around and sending emails to landowners, business owners, and offering to rent out their space. And they give me a price. I take pictures of the property. I post it on my website. I get leads. I charge them an upsell, which is usually 400% of what I'm paying. And you just make sure you're attentive. You, you do what they need. You check up on them. You provide extra services like DJ or food vendors or TV screen. And you have a cleanup crew and just have an all-inclusive package for renters looking to rent short-term property. Okay. So right now I have about 20 spaces where I could rent out any given day. And when people see my page, they get impressed and they, they want to make a a decision on what they want to do with their rental and they usually come back to me because I have a lot of properties available but you, you only need one you know like if I was you I'd visit all your convention centers city halls look at city owned pools and plazas that are rentable go to resorts like the Marriott and just try to get a manager or someone to give you a price on a rental okay because most people that are renting property they don't live there okay that's why they want to rent so you living there you already have 99 percent authority over that listing no one's going to cut you out of the picture no renter is going to come try to go around you and go over your head it's not going to happen so my best advice is to get into real estate and get into short-term rentals and try to sublease or subcontract spaces that's how i'm doing it now right now i might travel to a property just to say hi and take some pictures for a customer that's about it the sites that i'm using to promote are done they're updated i have inquiries coming in every day all day between 10 to 80 inquiries a day out of the 80 inquiries there's a small percentage that actually convert into customers which is like around two one two percent and it pays the bills you know, last month i cleared four or five thousand you know net and that's not even the rental income I'm getting for my long-term rentals. You know what I mean? So, so right now I don't have to work, you know, but I choose to, to keep me busy and healthy and live a luxurious lifestyle. You know, I have cars, I have RVs, I have boats, I got a golf cart, you know, I have houses, I have an apartment and it's all acquired over the years. Okay. This is going to take at least two years for you guys to even understand how this business works. This is just my personal opinion on how to retire right now. And I want you guys to subscribe. I'm going to be dropping gems to you guys, giving you guys value every time I post when it comes to these vlogs. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you, know, if you enjoyed it, send me a like, leave a comment, share with your friends, subscribe. I'll let you do it. And you guys didn't subscribe yet? What you waiting on, man? Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, baby. <laughs>